All right, so this is going to be a quick little tutorial on LEGO Digital Designer. We've talked about it in class once, but I just wanted to go over and kind of give you a quick little video on that. So remember to get to the Mindstorms palette, you're going to go to the center screen, center tab here that says Mindstorms. Click on that. And to start out with, you're going to go Free Build. Um, hopefully you have your sketch that you've, you're going to work off of. Or you can select and open another file, or you should see, if you've already started creating a file, you'll see the ones you've created here. I'm going to start with Free Build. And you have a couple of ways to navigate. This is your palette. You can use the arrows here, here, or up in the top to navigate around. Um, I find it maybe a little bit easier to you right click and hold on your mouse and navigate that way. Okay, you also have some zoom in, zoom out tools, as well as a recenter tool. All right, we're going to start by filtering to the pieces that are in our kit. You have various filters down here in the lower left hand corner. We're going to go to filter bricks by boxes, and you're going to have your Mindstorms EV345544, and then this is the education kit that we have. Um, to find the ball, so to find that ball, you're going to go to um, just, I believe it's regular LDD, and go to search for steel, not stell, steel, and you're going to look in the motor section, and there will be the steel ball if you need if you're going to be using that. So that was a question that was asked in class. Um, I'm gonna exit out of that filter and I'm gonna filter back to our education kit. Alrighty, um, so basically building is um, pretty straightforward. I'll show you that in a second. Um, you have some tools across the top here that I wanna get into. The pointer or mouse pointer tool, that's your selection tool, you have six different types of selectors. You have a single selection tool which allows you to grab a piece, put it on the palette, and drop it down there. You have a multiple selection tool. So let's say I want to add in a connector. Now one thing I'll show you right now is you'll see that these don't go in. And this is the beauty of a CAD program, is that if it doesn't fit, it's not gonna allow you to drop it. So what you can do is as long as you have it selected in your kind of hand, so to speak, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to rotate it so that the piece does fit in. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab another piece. And you'll see I'm finding pieces over here on the left-hand side, these little numbers right up here above my hand. Um, tell you how many pieces you have left and I'm gonna bring that piece in and now I'm gonna you'll see I got it blue here so I can move it I'm actually gonna rotate it up and sometimes it's not always intuitive the way we want it to go so you're gonna sometimes you just have to play around with it so now I want to slide that into there. The question was asked, how do we move pieces down or get them into a different plane? Sometimes it's just a matter of adjusting your rotation so that you can find, you can see that um, and get it into the right place. All right, next thing is multiple selector tool. This allows you to highlight the pieces and then move these around as a group as long as they're all selected. Okay, so these are going to be the two tools you use the most. Um, connected selection tool, that one will allow you to move pieces that are connected. So that's a handy little tool if you've got the pieces connected and want to move them around. Okay, The other one you'll use quite a bit is this tool right here. This is the clone tool. This is helpful. Let's say you've got an assembly here that you want to, or you've got a piece here you really don't you're feeling lazy, you don't want to go to your palette over here or your, your piece selection area, and you want to just, but you need that same piece. So you can go in and just with the clone tool, you can come in and grab and just click on those individual pieces and 
place them in place. You want to make sure though, if you've already got the piece out there that you move that piece off or get out of the clone tool or else it'll clone it for you. All right, so then I'm just going to move things around here. So there we go. I've got my pieces. I'm going to move my connected pieces. Whoops. Oops, that's not what I wanted. No. Okay, now I got my connected pieces there. All right, the hinge tool and hinge alignment tool we may talk about later on. That's for connecting um, connecting pieces such as um, oh, uh, axles and tires and stuff like that. Don't use them too much. Flex tool we're not going to use. Um, the other two we're not going to use too much. The delete tool, that's great if you've got a piece out there, you got a bunch of pieces and you just want to go through and delete them, you can just go in and delete them that way. Um, for saving things, you'll want to hit the little disk drive over here and that'll bring up a your libraries window here in a second, you'll see that pop up. Make sure you're giving things a unique file name, something that allows you to see the, or kind of quickly go after the, and find the file here. Computer's taking a little bit of slow time here. You'll want to put it in, let's see here, where am I? Uh, quick access, network, oh. Um, oh, libraries. It's probably not going to find my libraries because they're, oh, there they are right there. I'm going to go into documents. And you can add a new folder. I would call it, well, since I'm no longer, I'm not on my typical network, um, it's not going to let me do that. Um, but you would see your network here, give it a file, call it test, or um, maybe I want to call it balloon car, and hit save, and we'll see if it'll let me save, mm -hmm. uh, it probably won't since I'm at home doing this, um, while it's doing that, um, yeah, I didn't think it would be, so I'm just going to save it to the desktop here to demonstrate that for you. So there I've got it saved. Yours would be a little bit different. Um, under the file menu you do have some options here. Um, not going to get into those too much. There's your toolbox. So you have the, you can get the tools here. Um, you can adjust view modes and all of that. Um, like I said, play around with it a little bit. Um, you know, that's kind of the basics. In a, another tutorial, we'll talk a little bit about um, how to design your car from a sketch and kind of where to get started. Uh, one other last thing I'll mention here is the views you have. You have the view mode change to different views, and yes, this is where you blow things up. And more importantly, you have the building guide mode. This is for when you get your car built and you want to go through and figure out, okay, how should I put the pieces together when I'm actually building it and walks you through step by step. Um, you can save this as a web page. I'm only going to be looking for that you've sent me the LXF file, which is the um, balloon car or the, uh, piece, the pieces in here. All right, so that's kind of the basics of putting things together. In the next video, we'll talk about how to go from a sketch to an actual car that is designed here. Okay, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I kind of showed you, I'm gonna pull up um, here in a second um, a copy of my sketch and show you how you can work off of a sketch in LEGO Digital Designer. So while I'm, I'm gonna clean up my palette here and I'm gonna go ahead and um, stop things here and pull up my sketch. basic copy of the sketch that I'm going to be using for the rest of this video as you can see here it's just a simple pen and ink sketch okay so I pulled up showed you my sketch uh, just a very simple sketch that I did on a piece of paper um, and so what that sketch allows me to do is kind of see you know where do I want to put things and how do I want to go from here so um, you know, I'm going to start with my beam pieces and I'm going to kind of burn. So I've got my five technique beam here, but I think 
I'm going to start with a 13 piece beam. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of start laying some pieces out and kind of think about here. I want to go in and let's see here. I want to find some joints. Uh, let's see here. And I'm still learning where things are at. Uh, I want to say joints maybe under no, no, there. There we go. Um, you know, finding those pack connector pegs and you know, maybe looking at how can I use those to pull those around. Oh. So you know, it's just kind of whoop. Hit my mouse button here. So you know, it's just kind of building things the way you want them to be built. Um, using that sketch, I know that doesn't make building things the way you want them to be built. I'll flip that over there. So now I'm going to put these two together. Um, so I'm basically going off of the sketch of you know how I want to put the pieces together. And I'm going to grab these here um, so I can move them together and kind of rotate things around so I can make sure these are aligned up um, and then go back to my beams here. So, you know, that's kind of, you know, and I'm making it, now I may find that, oh, that didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to, there we go. And then I can just move those simply together. So again, it's kind of referring back to that sketch as I'm looking over and seeing where things are at, placing things into place. You may find that this doesn't exactly work for you 100%, um, and you may need to go back and change things up, but at least you'll have your initial design. Think of this as your rough draft. Sketch <coughs> is of you, um, is your pre-write, kind of organizing things, organizing your thoughts, What are, where do you want things to go. This is gonna be your rough draft. And you may find that you may come back and revise this, or you may you know, revise things on the fly. That's fine, um, but make sure that you are starting with that sketch. Okay, so as we talked about in class, this is a little bit stronger bond um, connection than in we had any other, you know, if we were just to put these with one connector peg there. Um, you know, so I've got that. Uh, not to bore you to death here, but I'm going to go in and grab, uh, let's see, where are my long axles here? So I'm going to grab my 10 hole axle. Now, you may be tempted to go straight across like this, or you may be tempted to say, you know what, I want that. And let's see here, where is, oh, and then this piece, the connector piece here to lengthen that. Remember, as I said in class, you know what? If pieces don't go together, we have to do some. And we get another. So that was a. What was that piece? I think that was a seven. Um, oh, you know what? I could use my clone tool. There we go. Okay. And then back here. And let's get these in. So you may be tempted to do this. Now this may or may not be a good connection. I would advise, you know, I'd be cautious on that. You want to make sure those pieces are nice and snug here. Um, okay, I'd caution you. You might want to check and get, make sure you check with your wheels on there. This may be a little bit too much of a distance for your wheels to go on. You can get around that in one of two ways. You can add a connection coming into here, you know, try to build out another part of the frame into here, or shorten your axles. Okay? That's one thing. I would go with the shortening your axles route to see if that works with your with your tire size, your wheel and tire size. So um, there's that piece there. Um, so in I'm going to take a pause here and I'm going to actually bring up the finished car here in 
um, you know, a couple minutes to show you where you would go from there and some of the other tools to make sure your focus you can use um, to help kind of get some directions and actually show you what files you're going to be turning in. So again, this was just you showing you the sketch and then working off of the sketch. Um, in this video, I'm not going to really go through the whole car part. I'm sure you can figure that out on your own, but just some things to um, bring up and use in your video. So uh, we'll go ahead and wait for uh, the quick second for the completed car in the next part of this video. Okay, series. welcome back here. And you can see here is my kind of first design here. I'm going to zoom out for you. So here's my first design of my car, completed car. Um, you may see, you've probably seen the one in class. It looks a little bit different than this, and that's okay. Um, you know, you're going to go as part of the engineering process that you learned about in your science class. You go from a sketch to a design to your rough draft, and you may make changes as you go about, you know, go about designing and, and changing up your robot. Um, it's up to you whether on this first try you go back and redesign it in here. Um, one thing I will point out is this tool up in here, as I um, talk to you and some of you in class, this button here gives you a building guide. Um, and the nice thing about this is this t is it allows you to step by step go through and see how the parts go together. You can change the angles and see how they can fit together. This may be they may put the pieces together differently than how you put them in when you assembled your model um, in the CAD program. That's fine. Um, this is. A little bit more this will fit it together um, so that you're not running into problems with front okay I got this two pieces together now I got to fit in into another piece okay so that's the instructions that you can use you can um, generate a website or a web page of that of the building guide um, you can also print out a copy of the building guide as well um, although I think working with the online one here is fine all right uh, just a couple of thoughts here hang on a second some of you have seen my car here. Um, I will tell you that we're going to test this car out on Wednesday or the next day of class. You can see here I've got my um, test subject here with the safety helmet on. Um, and it looks a little bit different as I go back to the build mode. It looks a little bit different than this. And this came about through testing. So um, we're gonna, I'm going to demonstrate the testing phase tomorrow in class for you, but I did make some changes based on testing. So hopefully um, you're well into designing and are getting ready to test. Once you have your car built, I will give you your balloon and will um, allow you to test and make changes based on those tests. Um, some things to think about as I've thought about with my car is weight, weight distribution, and you know the more you can distribute weight the better your car will run at times. Also tires, you know, the larger the tire, the heavier the heavier the tire. So just some things to think about. Okay. Good luck in designing your cars. And as always, feel free to email me at jgarrett at fiveschools.com if you have any questions or need some help.